Robbie, dude, what's up? How you doing, Rocky? How you been, man? Thanks so much for coming out here and spending time with the dogs. Dude, no problem, man. What? Uh, would love to see him. All right, let's get to it. All right. Hey, I'm Rocky Kanaka, and we're at Marley's Mutts in Tehachapi, California. And right now, we're rounding up all the dogs because we're going to go on a pack walk uh, and kind of get some of the energy out before we sit down and serve them all Thanksgiving dinner. Hooch, what's up? Hooch, hi, hi, Hooch. How you been? Hi. If you guys have seen any of my other videos with Hooch in it, he's such an awesome dog. All right, so what? You guys are getting ready to go on a walk? Yeah, we're going on a pack walk and uh, get some exercise for these pups. All right, I'll come. I'll come with you guys. Put me to put me to work. Hi, who's this little squirt? That is Rosie. Hi, Rosie. Hi. Hi, hey, Rosie. You're... Some of the dogs are a little camera shy. Yeah. All right. Well, we're gonna have this to. This is first time interviews for these guys. <laughs> first, first time interviews. Yeah. Do they have agents? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Every day we danced and life was smiling. We were young and drunk in love. A few years later, I am starting to thinking if it's just love in every glass I'm drinking. She might win in this. And <laughs> She's pretty strong. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think we got some energy out on the, with these dogs. Oh, I got you. There's no reason to chasing pavement on my own. Cause you're here to stay every night and day. I'm delighted cause I got you. Um, I'm here with Robbie, and who's this? This is Mabel the Great Dane. Right, so what's Mabel's story? So Mabel was uh, abandoned in the shelter and we rescued her. She was uh, returned. Okay. So we're dealing with some of the behavioral issues that she had, and she's going to be ready for a home at any time. So Mabel's a Great Dane. Yeah. And a lot of times people will say, oh, you can't get, you know, I, I'm not going to rescue because I want a full breed dog. Yeah. And in rescue, we come across every purebred dog at times. Yeah. Bull terriers, pit bulls, labs, poodles, anything you want, we come across them. So a really great way is to reach out and uh, to a shelter and say, here's what I'm looking for, or just stay in touch with that shelter. And yeah, when a dog absolutely. like Mabel comes along and you've been looking for a great Dane, yeah. here you go. When you're looking for a dog, um, really be open-minded because a lot of times you think, oh, I need a dog and I need a Weimaraner because my best friend had a Weimaraner or my great aunt had one and it meant a lot to me. But that doesn't necessarily fit your lifestyle. I mean, no. are you in an apartment in Los Angeles? That's going to be a much more difficult dog than, Absolutely. let's say, a Maltese, you know, and uh, or or a mixed dog or whatever that may be. And also, it depends on the dog too, right? You get a very docile Great Dane or a very high energy Great Dane. Yeah. This is one of the dogs at Marley's Mutts. I'll put the link down below. Make sure you check it out. Next. Next. <laughs> you're, you're you're searching in that bag over there, but. Max. Uh, <laughs> Ma Max? Max? He's gonna take the charge. Max. <laughs> okay. Come up. Come up. <laughs> it's Thanksgiving. And I try to I try to get it on their nose because then they keep licking. <laughs> Max. Hey, no. Max. <laughs> She's like scared of it but also really enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> She's a little self-conscious of eating that camera. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she she works at this figure. <laughs> I mean, your little human face is amazing. <laughs> We're cracking up because Rosie, like, she just can't control herself with this peanut butter and she's got it all over her face. And we're trying to make this slow-mo peanut butter video and, uh, and she just... <laughs> 
She's largely my spirit animal. <laughs> By the way, this is me on every Sunday cheat day. Hey Rocky, this is Titan. Okay, hi Titan. Hi dude. Hi. But the vet said it's more likely than like a chemical burn on his face. Titan! Titan, come here! Come here! Okay, so I want you to meet Titan. Come here! Come here! Oh, good dog. So Titan um, was was obviously abused. Titan, come here! You know, Titan just wants to play, right? Titan doesn't, he wants to be loved just like any other dog. Um, and it's just amazing because he's so forgiving. Titan, come here! Come here! Come here! No, 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 no! Come on! He's, he's scratching his face right now because all of his wounds are so dry. So he's he's it's itchy and uh, it's really hard for him. I mean, he the the chemical burns. You know, warning. This is kind of tough. The chemical burns uh, made him lose his eyelashes, so it's hard for him to sleep. Um, he can't he can't ever blink his eyes, which is really tough. Um, but he's such a, he's he's a really gentle dog. He's a loving dog, even after everything he's been through. You can see some of the marks on him. Um, the vet thinks he's been tortured because just because of those marks, but. Marley's Mutz has taken him in. Uh, Zach, the founder, has uh, has really given him the time and attention he's needed just over the last week and, and healing that he's needed. But this dog, this dog needs a lot of love, a lot of support, a lot of medical support. But but the good thing is, this isn't a sad, depressing um, story. This is a heartfelt story because Titan is a great example of a dog who um, shows you that th there are all loving and and all kind i mean to force a dog to have this done to them and then still be so loving and so gentle and and so forgiving i mean just look 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 at this face you can definitely see scars and pain or you can see love and kindness and and tenderness and happiness now i mean you can't see it but his tail's wagging back here and he's just such a good dog <laughs> Okay, I think he wants to go play with the other dog, so let's go to that. This is Zach, the director and founder of Marley's Mutt's Dog probably, Rescue. Let's redo that. I don't want to throw up West Side. Yeah. I don't people think I'm gang affiliated. <laughs> uh, Marley's Mutt's. <laughs> oh, that's, this is probably the part I'll put in the video too, by the way. Great. Okay. This is, this is Zach, founder and director of Marley's Mutt's, and uh, I called him, what, just yesterday? It was just yesterday. The first time was years and years ago, probably seven years ago, six years ago? It's been a, it's been a while. But I mean, I called you yesterday to uh, one say congratulations on your marriage. Correct. And your baby. Yes. And human oh child. Goodness. Uh, but no, nothing else. Just those two things. <laughs> the, just those two things. And two, say I'm coming out because it's time for your shelter to have Thanksgiving. Yeah, exactly. You basically said I've I've, I've followed you on Facebook. I've seen how depressed your dogs are. <laughs> We need to bring some, some yeah, holiday cheer. Don't you love these dogs? I mean, yeah, come on. What's wrong with you? Yeah. No, th but I've seen the grizzly bunch that you got up running up there with them, Robert and Robbie. <laughs> we need to bring some cheer. If you're watching this video, you're going to have Thanksgiving. Your dog's going to be there. It's going to be a really great time. Um, we thought, why not go to a shelter where they don't get to necessarily have Thanksgiving? I think it's a great idea. And uh, and serve Barksgiving. Barksgiving, indeed. Yeah. I think it's... Uh, it's also a good opportunity to uh, to give thanks. You know, um, in the rescue community, we tend not to slow down. It's just go, 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 go. Yeah. So um, what better way to kind of pause for a second and uh, give thanks for, for all that we've achieved too. I mean, this ranch um, is, is brand new. This is our new, well, the ranch isn't new, but it's new to us. Right. And um, we're kind of on the eve of a, of a new chapter for Marley's Mutts and, and we're making really big moves and it's time to pause and be thankful with one another and for one another. And uh, So, all right, how can people help? You can donate two Titan, four Titan, or for any number of dogs that we have. You know, this is, the way our rescue works is we are constantly being reached out to to help out dogs in, in severe need. Dogs like Shelby, who we brought in yesterday, who's got the biggest tumors I've ever seen in my life. She's got basically a pinata attached to her undercarriage, which is just Jeez. a series of tumors. Um, and so, you know, we, we constantly need medical help. And, and we're always posting about it, and I, I tend to feel a little bit guilty asking people for money constantly. Yeah. Uh, although there is a big payback, you know, there is a big 
uh, silver lining to all this. You know, the dogs go on. They, they, they teach us lessons, you know, and they're, they're tremendous sources of resilience and yeah. positive energy. And, and, and remember, if you can't donate money, if you're sitting there going, you know, I don't have a lot of, I don't have a lot of money myself, can you skip a coffee one day, right? And yeah. it, every little bit helps. Or if you can't do that, can you share? One right? of the most important things you can do on social media is make a comment in the post and tag Ellen DeGeneres or tag, you know, uh, <laughs> that Ellen, where are you at? <laughs> uh, tag anybody, tag your favorite comedian or tweet at them, or whatever, you know? Yeah. And uh, so-and-so, at so-and-so, have you seen this? Is how important uh, their shares mean. Their shares are gold, man. Right. right. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, dude. Thanks, buddy, as always, man. Yeah. Okay, now let's do a Barksgiving dinner. Huh? Oh, with him? Okay. Let's just look at him. <laughs> we just told each other. <laughs> this is like an awkward. <laughs> we were young and we were free and running. Never bothered about what could be coming. Every day we danced and life was smiling.